And how, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, this video and the special thing about this video is the speed is uh, controlled the playback speed of the footage. So I think it's a useful example uh, for you if you are uh, going to create a sensor view of the uh, HMI on the car and it, it is also a good documentation for me. So let's start it and open uh, After Effects. First of all, we want to create the roots, the animated root. Mm. Of course, now uh, I'm going to change the resolution of our composition. Uh, Command K. I think uh, 1080, 1080 is enough for us. Now I'm going to create a um, spline. So basically this is our lane, I'm going to change the size, I think 10 is ok, mm, we don't need few, so uh, out or option uh, le left click. We have our first path. Mm. Just make it maybe bigger. Now, uh, I can comment a uh, left arrow. I can comment out left arrow. I'm going to mark uh, this kind of shape. So let's mm, maybe the gradient we don't need it. So okay, good. Yes. <clears throat> Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. So, I think mm -hmm. okay. now it's centered. Mm -hmm. Let's make this and move the shape to a bit to the left and just uh, duplicate it. The shape one is our control master or parent lane, and uh, this is the child lane. And we are going to link the properties. Mm. For example, I think we need the dash. Plus, plus, and the dash should be something like this. Okay, this is linked. Mm, we can also link the color, but also the stroke width. And what else? I think this is enough for us. Okay. 
and by the char lanes we want to move it to the right so by transformation child land uh, position something like this maybe 100 and just duplicate it and again the, pos the transformation of a uh, child land positioned 200 And again, oops, it should be number one. This is number two and duplicated. Also change the transformation of the uh, child land number three, 250. No, it's going to be 300. So we have four lengths. Mm, I'm going to save it. Okay, now it's safe. So and now is and okay, we can uh, reposition it. Now it's in the center. Perfect. And now, if we change the properties of the parent land, for example, the stroke. Hmm. The other land we're also going to change, so it's uh, pretty useful. Also, if we want to change the color. So, okay. So now it's good, and I'm going to make it uh, 3D <coughs> by clicking on this uh, icon. And I'm going to create a new camera. Camera 1. Click OK and I'm going to switch to the viewport to camera one. And now I want uh, to, to move the view. So yeah, this is going to work. Great. So just something like this. And now we can see the land is not uh, not enough long, so I'm going to change the transformation. I think I we have also um, linked the children uh, scale to the parent scale. So let me try mm, here. Oh, we don't, we don't do it, so mm, we have to do it now, so children scale, do, 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 do. scale into it, and uh, the scale is here. the scale okay perfect yeah and now it works so so we can make it bigger and i think uh Mm, our camera can move a bit up so the horizon is in the middle and also pan a bit oops not just the camera here 
get this one. something like this is okay okay we locked the camera so it will not be moved okay and uh, yeah I also rename it to lane so perfect and now I think the I can create here some keyframes so um, by next time we can just press U and all the properties, the linkage properties will, will be show up. So, okay. U at the width, okay. And maybe. Um, maybe 40 or 35. Mm. Okay, this is good, and um, so in the position, we can also change it a bit. Maybe something like this. Okay, now we have our first um, the assets, the graphic what we need, and now we can do the actual keyframe. So um, I think this composition will uh, loop, so uh, it shouldn't be so long. So I set it up to maybe. Two second. So keyframe the first keyframe on the second uh, on the zero second the position and then the last also keyframe it so it should be move like this. So if you play back, it will be a looped at, uh, animation. Maybe it's too slow, I think. So maybe I mm, made the whole video just uh, one second and not two seconds. Okay, good. Good, perfect. So save it and um, make a new composition. And this composition has also the same width and height, and we name it looped road. So just drag animated root into the loop root composition and the uh, loop root. Compositions should be longer, mm, maybe maybe one minute. So great. And now we want to loop this uh, animated root uh, composition. So what we can do is we can click. Right click on the layer and go to the time and enable the time remapping. Okay, now we have this. And uh, go to the last frame by uh, last keyframe, 
by pressing key or uh, click here. Nice, and we want to uh, keyframe, we we'll go back, so keyframe the previous uh, timeline, so <coughs> click here, go to the last, okay, and clicking on the last keyframe and set it to zero, click OK, click how, and delete it. Now, is, uh, go to the uh, holding down the option or out key. We want to uh, insert a expression here to loop this composition. And I think is on is I think properties. Yeah, property and loop out. So perfect. So uh, we cannot see it because we have to expand the visibility of the composition. So and now it is the animation is looped with only t two keyframes. Okay, perfect. Save it, and we're going to the third composition and it is also our last composition new composition and this I make the width a bit bigger and the duration should be I think for our case 30 seconds is enough click OK and drag also name it so it will be our uh, Control. Hmm. How I can name it? Mm. Control animation. Uh, control loop. Root. Okay. Drag it. Uh, and drag the loop. Root composition down. So perfect. So it works, and now we want to control the playback speed of the loop root composition because uh, sometimes the car is uh, going to uh, have a higher speed or it stop on the traffic light in front of the traffic light and uh, accelerate it later when it's uh, when the green light is turned on. So we want. Um, to control the playback speed by, uh, by having a slider. So what I'm on the internet find is a expression uh, preset made by made by a big bad bunny nine years ago. The expression I will uh, leave it on the comments. So it is um, here. This is the control playback bit with a slider. And here's the link. So just copy it. And also here, right click on the loop root composition and go to the time, enable time remapping and now we need uh, to uh, add expression just pressing out or, or option and uh, paste it the expression so so and now we need uh, some slider so go to here, slider slider control one and two the first 
slider control, we rename it as uh, offset. And the second one, we renamed it as speed. So it must have the exact same length like uh, in the expression. So now you can see if we change the slider. For example, the speed now is uh, zero. We've, we've changed it to 200. The uh, animation will play it really fast, so. And if it turn it really small, so it will be really slow the animation. So, and now. Maybe I keyframe it so we start at uh, 100 km per hour and increase the speed to mm. oh no we uh, we hold the speed for two seconds and then in front of us is a traffic light so the car is going to de accelerated and then waiting for two seconds and it go back to uh, 100 km per hour so cool and if we play it bad it will be 100 km and then go slightly down to stop it because it's traffic light and hold and then now it's a green light, go again, accelerating again. So now we can uh, display the speed slider. We can uh, add a text here. And do, 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 do. here's the speed. Paragraph this so. is okay, and then duplicate it, and here should be the kilometer per hour. Okay, save it and now click on the speed layer to the text source text. We link it to the to our slider to the speed slider, of course. And we play it. The number will go really high, so we have to uh, run the number. And we can do this by also using expression. So we already have it here and just by mass dot round brackets put it inside the brackets and now it's finished. So I hope it's this tutorial will be useful for you and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.